Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. With Quick Surface you can load relatively large meshes. In general you don't have any limitation and you can bring any size of the STL file. But when you actually start working, you may notice, depending on the uh, power of your computer, that you may get a performance issue. And for this reason we have something which is called Polygon Reduction. Let's explore this mesh by right-clicking and select properties. If you see it has uh, 6 million triangles, which is not a lot and you can work with it, but it may be much more useful if you reduce this number of triangles. In order to do this, you go to select reference mesh and then select reduce polygons. So what you see is the active mesh which has been selected here and it shows you the current number of triangles that the mesh has. Now you need to decide what you want to do and how much you want to reduce this size. There are two ways of reducing by typing the target number of uh, triangles. For example, I will type in 50% and the software automatically gives you an indication that it will be 3 million triangles. When you make your mind, you just press preview. The software will initialize and start reducing the number of triangles and despite you get some uh, user disappearance of the dialog, everything is working. You just wait until the software reduces the number of polygons. So what you currently see is actually not the final result, but it's a preview of what the new mesh will look like. So you can explore by rotating and see it on the screen. You see this is the reduced mesh, but the question is how well it has been decimated. In order to do this, you can click on the deviation of the original mesh. What the software will do automatically will compare the original mesh with the new decimated mesh. So what we see on the screen in this example is I put 30 microns and you see that everything is green and you have a statistics here that tells you that 99% of the points are within this tolerance. You can change this, for example, down to 10 microns and press apply. Then you can see a different uh, result, like here. You see that there are some noisy points, for example, that are out of this tolerance and in this case 97% are not in this 10 microns tolerance. Again, you can just change your mind and type in different numbers and reduce until you get a satisfactory result. When you are ready, you just press OK. So what happens now in this version is that the software will ask you if you want to replace your original mesh with the new one, or what you can do is actually create another entity in the features tree that will uh, keep the decimated mesh and at the same time you have as a backup the original mesh that you may use in the future. In this case, I will press No to continue and I will select the option which is called Keep the Original Mesh. I will press OK and the software technically will create two meshes that you can save in the file. Let's explore, right click on this mesh and see this is my original mesh of 6 million triangles. I will hide this because I don't need to see and then I right click on this mesh and see properties, it's a 3 million triangle. So now I have these two meshes, I can save them on the disk for further um, use and I can carry on with my other tools. I hope this video was useful, thank you for watching.